The James Webb Space Telescope has pulled back the curtain on Pluto, transforming our understanding of a world we once thought we knew. For decades, Pluto was the underdog of the solar system, demoted, dismissed, written off as just a frozen, static rock drifting in the cold void. But now, Webb's infrared eyes have revealed a very different story. Pluto is no longer seen as dead and forgotten. It is alive with mystery, geologically active, and possibly even home to conditions where life could survive. At the center of this revolution is the possibility of a subsurface ocean, a massive hidden sea beneath Pluto's icy crust. This ocean may be locked away under thick nitrogen ice but warmed by heat escaping from Pluto's rocky core. That heat could come from radioactive decay, a slow and steady energy source capable of keeping water liquid for billions of years. If that's true, then Pluto, one of the coldest bodies in the solar system, might secretly be one of the most promising places to search for life. The evidence points directly to Sputnik Planitia, Pluto's heart-shaped basin. Once believed to be flat and unremarkable, Webb's data shows it's alive with movement. Ice here flows and shifts, reshaped by the heat of Pluto's interior. That kind of movement doesn't happen on a dead world, it means Pluto is still evolving today. And Sputnik Planitia is just the beginning. Towering ice mountains rise across Pluto's surface, some as tall as the Rockies on Earth. These were never expected on a small body so far from the Sun. Their very existence challenges long-standing ideas of how small planets and dwarf planets should behave. So what powers such a dynamic world? Inside Pluto, radioactive elements likely generate heat. Outside, tidal forces from its giant moon Charon add another layer. Pluto and Charon form a rare dual planet system, locked in a gravitational dance that stirs their interiors. This interaction could generate enough friction to help keep Pluto's ocean alive. And Charon is no less mysterious. Its enormous canyons stretch across its surface, hinting at past tectonic activity. It even carries a strange reddish stain, likely from organic molecules called tholines, compounds created when sunlight reacts with methane gas. Some scientists believe material is being exchanged between Pluto and Charon a chemical partnership unlike anything else we've ever seen. If true, it raises the possibility of complex chemistry taking place across two worlds, not just one. The James Webb Space Telescope has also revealed another stunning surprise, organic compounds scattered across Pluto's icy surface. Combined with unexpected hot spots beneath its crust, these discoveries suggest a world still brimming with energy. Tholines, dark red molecules, cover parts of Pluto and Charon, and while they're not alive, they are thought to be building blocks of life. Mixed with liquid water and the right chemistry, they could form the ingredients for something much bigger. Pluto's atmosphere is equally remarkable. Though fragile and thin, it's made of nitrogen, methane, and carbon dioxide. What makes it unique is how it behaves. As Pluto moves closer to the Sun in its long orbit, the atmosphere thickens. As it drifts farther away, the atmosphere collapses and freezes back onto the surface. This strange cycle of atmosphere, breathing, in and out is unlike anything else in the solar system. And Pluto's story connects to a larger mystery. Deep sea vents on Earth thrive on heat from within the planet, not light from the sun. Entire ecosystems, strange fish, glowing bacteria, and alien-looking life, survive in complete darkness thanks to chemical energy. If that's possible on Earth, could something similar exist in Pluto's hidden ocean? If microbial life is there, it means life can take root not just near stars, but in the deep, frozen shadows of the universe. But Pluto has even more surprises. Webb has picked up hints of energy signals near Pluto's interaction with the Kuiper Belt. Some scientists think this could point to strange magnetic behavior, even though Pluto doesn't have a magnetic field like Earth. If confirmed, it could reshape our understanding of how dwarf planets interact with solar winds at the edge of the sun's reach. All of this has reignited interest in sending new missions to Pluto. The New Horizons flyby in 2015 gave us our first close-up look, but it was just a snapshot. Now, scientists are dreaming of landers, orbiters, and even robotic submarines that could one day dive into Pluto's subsurface ocean. It would be one of the most ambitious missions ever attempted, 
and if successful, it could finally answer the question, are we alone? Imagine a robotic probe melting its way through miles of ice, reaching the black waters below, and switching on its lights for the first time. What would it see? An empty ocean, or something alive, moving, and waiting to be discovered? Pluto has gone from being a forgotten outcast to one of the most exciting worlds in the solar system. Its mountains, glaciers, atmosphere, ocean, and chemistry suggest it is far more than just a frozen relic. It is a world in transition, alive, evolving, and teaching us that life may not need warmth and sunlight to survive. The exploration of Pluto has only just begun. The questions waiting to be answered, about its ocean, its chemistry, its connection to Karen, and its link to life itself, are some of the most profound in all of science. And thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we now know one thing for certain. Pluto is no longer just a cold speck at the edge of the solar system. It is a beacon of possibility, a world that may hold the secrets to life in the cosmos.